Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Tuesday. Today I'm coming at you with my entire luxury wallet collection. This video has been requested by a few of you here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And uh, I have a variety of different wallets. I have some smaller ones and some larger ones, so I thought I would start off with the larger ones. And I have a few different uh, brands. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will notice that there are some wallets missing as I have sold them. <laughs> but uh, some of these are also uh, discontinued. And I will have a list of them in the description box below. That way if you're interested, or you know, want to know which ones are discontinued, I will just put a little note on there. Uh, but let's just get started, shall we? The first one that I want to share with you guys is one of my absolute favorites in my entire collection, and I'm talking about this beauty right here, which is the Louis Vuitton Josephine Wallet in the monogram canvas with the rouge interior. Now, the Josephine Wallet has not been discontinued, but this particular combination has. Uh, this is one of the originals. The originals consisted of the red that you see here. Uh, they were also available in the blue and in the green, uh, but I absolutely love this wallet, and at one point, I had three in my collection, and now I only have one, but I think this is just a fantastic, fantastic wallet. It doesn't have too much going on. Uh, it has a fantastic price point. I believe right now they retail for $480 here in the States. Uh, but one of the features that I love about it the most is the fact that it comes with this removable little coin pouch or pouch. Uh, so even though the Josephine wallet doesn't take up too much space, if you wanted to go even more compact, you can do it with this little guy right here. You could put your, your driver's license some cash in here, uh, just a few other little odds and ends, some coin if you wanted to, and use this as a wallet. So even though this is slim. You can go even more compact with this guy. So really two wallets in one. Uh, but another great feature that this has is the fact that this little back pocket that you see here goes all the way to the bottom, uh, the entire length of the wallet. So if you wanted to maybe, let's say you wanted to, um, you know, hide some cash in here. If you didn't, if you had larger bills that you just wanted to store in here and something that you didn't want someone to see at a glance when you first open your wallet, that's another little great security option if you wanted to. Uh, but I really like the Josephine because of the fact that it has the, um, the little fold here, this is the wallet that's most comparable to the Emily and they're the same price point. But when you open up the Emily, you see the credit card slots here versus opening up one more time and you have the credit cards there. So again, a little bit more security if that's what you needed. Uh, but I love this wallet. Very simple. I have used it to death and uh, I just, it's one of my favorites. Again, the combination of the monogram with the red, I think it's one of the best uh, combinations. It reminds me of the the red that you have in the Damier Ben Josephine that's available now. Uh, but it's just a beautiful pop of color. So I highly recommend the Josephine wallet. And again, very, very great price point. If you're looking into starting into uh, getting a Louis Vuitton wallet or a, a, a small leather good and you want a wallet, then this is a great option. Uh, okay. The next one that I have is one of my major, fa major favorites. Uh, this particular um, color or print has been discontinued and that is this beauty right here which is the Louis Vuitton insulate wallet in the multicolor noir with the Grenade interior. The insulate wallet is still available but no longer in the multicolor as most of you know. Um, in the beginning when I first saw the insulate wallet and it was when it was first introduced to the fashion house I wasn't too crazy about um, you know how large it was and how much it had going on because normally I like simple wallets since I don't carry too much in my you know in, in my daily lifestyle for my daily lifestyle. And, uh, when I actually, when I got this one, I was actually over the moon. Once I started using it, it has a total of 12 credit card slots. You have six up here and six down there. You have a little slip pocket here. You have a zip compartment here, a slip pocket there, and then another little, uh, zip compartment here. So, I mean, I think this is great and it has this awesome little D ring here. So if you wanted to use this as a clutch, you could, uh, since I have an ancient phone, uh, I'm able to fit my phone in here and, you you know, not, and not have a problem with having my phone in there and having my credit cards here and using it as a clutch, as I stated before. Uh, but I honestly don't know if an iPhone six would fit in there. Uh, so if you guys know, if it does, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, but this is a great, great wallet. So you can actually have it completely closed and you can still get inside of one of the compartments here. So if it's something that you wanted to get into quickly, you could, uh, but I really like this little feature and it is, as I said before, a little bit larger than most other wallets. So here's the insulate. And then here is the Josephine. You will see that it is a little bit taller and a little bit longer. Uh, but again, the fact, if you're someone that needs to carry quite a bit with you, if you have, um, you know, more business cards, if you have credit cards, if you need, uh, just a checkbook, you can fit a checkbook in here. If you need more space, and this is definitely a great, uh, 
great wallet to go for. But again, I love the pink interior. I just, the hot pink is just, <laughs> is beautiful. And as you will see throughout my collection, I'm a little bit of a sucker for pink. Uh, but anyways, here we go. This is the Louis Vuitton insulate wallet in the multicolor noir with the Grenade interior. Okay, moving on to the next one. <laughs> Speaking of pink, <laughs> I have this one from Louis Vuitton. This is a discontinued style. This is the international, uh, the international wallet in the monogram vernis, and the color is fuchsia. For the longest time, I thought it was rose pop, but it is not. It is fuchsia. Uh, but I, <laughs> I really like this wallet because, again, it's very simple. So you will notice that throughout my collection. I think I have one or two that have a little bit more uh, compartment you know, that, um, that daily, that, that would be perfect for daily wallets. But again, I don't carry too, too much. So you have a little slip pocket here that you can fit all of your little extras, maybe loyalty cards some cash some coin. If you wanted to, uh, you have a total of six credit card slots and another slip pocket. And then you have this little guy right here, which is the, um, uh, little pen holder there. But I think this is such a fun wallet. It's, um, monogram Bernie. I haven't had the best of luck with lately. Uh, but I just really like the pop of pink that it has. You know, it has that beautiful magenta undertone. So I sometimes like to pair it with my Louis Vuitton Neverfull Demi Azur or my monogram or whatever. I just think it really you know, adds a great pop of color to any uh, bag that I have. So when I open up the bag, I'm kind of like, oh, it's a fun little wallet in there. Kind of like the insulate, because let's be honest, the multicolor is a very fun print. Uh, but the international wallet is a discontinued, as I said before, style. And I really like the style. I really wish that they would uh, bring it back because I, I think that the simplicity is awesome on it, especially because of this little pouch right here. So uh, if you need more space for your credit cards or if you need more space for business cards or something like that, loyalty cards, what have you, you can put it in here without having to stretch out, um, any more credit card slots and maybe doubling these up if that makes any sense. But the Louis Vuitton, uh, international wallet in the monogram vernis fuchsia. <laughs> uh, okay. And that does it for my larger Louis Vuitton wallets. The next one that I have is, uh, one of my newest purchases and that is this beauty right here, which is the Chanel zipped wallet. Uh, this is not the larger zipped wallet and this is not the small wallet. And I will get into that in just a second. This is just, it's the name just states zipped wallet. Uh, but this is the one that I'm currently using and as I said before, even though I'm not one to carry too much in my wallets, this little guy right here carries, I mean, you could hold quite a bit in here. You have a total of eight credit card slots, uh, and then you have one slip pocket on this side, an open compartment, a zip compartment here, open compartment, and another slip pocket here. There are no other outside pockets or anything like that, but the gussets really help uh, to maximize how much you can actually fit in here, and once you open it up, the accordion style really, uh, you can really see how how wide it can get. Uh, but this is an awesome, awesome wallet. Very, very easy to use as a daily wallet. You can fit so many items in here. You can also fit your phone in here. And when I did the unboxing for it, I asked you guys if uh, you knew if the larger iPhones would fit in here. And some of you said yes. So that's another great option. You can use this as another little clutch without having to, um, you know, without having to, to carry another bag with you, or if you just kind of want to uh, run and go with something this small, then you can do that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful wallet. I'm very excited that I was able to add it to my collection. And, uh, so far since I've been using it, I have been, uh, really liking its size. And again, I'm one to care for the smaller wallets, but this one just definitely, um, kind of broke me out of my comfort zone and I'm, I'm loving it so far. So yes, the Chanel zipped wallet in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. Uh, okay. The next one is another Chanel wallet and this is the small zipped wallet. So let me show you guys a comparison to the one that I just showed you. There you go. You can see it's probably about two inches, maybe an inch and a half, uh, shorter. And it is the, maybe a little bit, a little bit taller is the zipped wallet, but this is the small zipped wallet. And this is in the pink caviar leather with the silver hardware and it has a little bit of pink in between the silver and it's a very very simple wallet it doesn't open up too much because the even though it does have the gussets it doesn't have too much give uh to be honest and it has a total of four credit card slots you have two on one side two on another there are no slip pockets on here and then you have another little zipped um zip compartment there 
But if you want to go compact and you still want the zipper around wallet, then this is a great option. But again, it doesn't have too much give. It doesn't open up too much. If that's not important to you and you like the smaller zipped type of wallets, then this is a really, really great option to go with uh, from Chanel. But yeah, so here we go. The Chanel small zipped wallet in the pink caviar leather with the silver hardware. Moving on to another favorite of mine, and that is this cutie right here, which is the Chanel O coin purse. I don't know if that's the right name. If it's not, I will make sure and put the correct name on the description box below. But I got this about a month, month and a half ago, if I'm not mistaken, and I absolutely love it. This features the red caviar leather with the chevron detailing and the silver hardware uh, and the zip around closure with no other little pockets on the backside. But I love this little guy. If you are someone who carries quite a bit with you and you prefer to have compact wallets, then this is definitely a great option because of the interior. You have a total of three little uh, compartments here and you can definitely prioritize in, you know, which compartments you put what. So maybe if you put the credit cards that you use the most, you could put them on here, maybe put some cash here and maybe your loyalty cards here regardless or what, whatever it is that you need. I think this is great because of how many little compartments it has. And it is definitely comparable to the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin purse only the zippy coin purse is a little bit taller uh but i really like this guy um it's it's a little deceiving because you think it's a little bit small you know compared to let's say a larger wallet like this but pretty much everything that i had in something like this i was i was able to fit in here and go compact with my handbag without having to to worry about leaving one thing out on my wallet that i really really needed uh so i think this is a great little option i love this little guy and uh, i think i will be adding the quilted one to my collection uh because i'm just very very fond of it uh but i really like the color i love the combination with the silver hardware and I think it is just a fantastic little wallet if you are thinking about getting something smaller from Chanel um, or you just want something that you can go compact with and not have to compromise or not have to sacrifice how much it is that you're fitting in here. I think that this is a great option. So the Chanel O, o coin purse <laughs> uh, with the red caviar leather and the silver hardware. Okay, the next one that I have is this cutie right here, which is the Chanel card holder in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. And uh, this is just another very simple little card holder. There are no other outside pockets. It is a snap button closure that pops open like so. And you have one little slip uh, or one little compartment here and one larger compartment there. There's not too much, uh, but you can definitely fit quite a bit in here. It's a little bit deceiving. You have this little gusset here that you're able to maximize a little bit more space if you needed to. Uh, but I really like this. I use this quite a bit uh, when I was going compact. So before I had this one, I really used this one in the beginning. Um, but I think it's great. It is a little bit bulkier because of the snap button closure here. So it's not too, too slim. But regardless, I, I still think that you're able to fit quite a, uh, I mean, quite a number of different credit cards in there and maybe some cash as well. You can also fit coin in here if that's something that you need. Uh, but you guys know that as, when it comes to coin, I usually like to make sure that none of my wallets have coin in them. That's why I have the little round coin purse from Louis Vuitton so that I don't get any of the coin residue on them. But I think this is another great little uh, piece SLG from Chanel. So the Chanel card holder in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. Okay. And then I have a Chanel card holder in the red caviar leather with the silver hardware. Now this is the card holder and so is this. So it has the exact same name, but obviously they are completely different. You have a total of three credit card slots on this one, one in the front, and then you have two on the back side, And then you have another little compartment, little area here for cash, or maybe some more credit cards if you needed to. Uh, and I have this, as I said before, in the red caviar, and I also have it in the black caviar with the gold hardware. Now, um, I often get asked if I prefer this one over this one or is it vice versa and even though I am extremely fond of this card holder I prefer these because whenever I'm going compact I want to be able to maximize as much space as I possibly need so uh, since I don't tend to carry too much in my wallets I have you know maybe my driver's license goes in the front two credit cards on the back and then some cash here uh, but uh, I just really like the fact that these are so slim they don't take up too much space and even though this is a little bit smaller I feel that because of the snap button closure here it tends to make it a little bit bold uh, but uh, I think they're, I think that these are wonderful and I, I still absolutely love these, but I just tend to gravitate more towards the, the slimmer ones than this one here. Uh, but as far as security goes, you cannot go wrong with the snap button closure. 
And of course, if you needed to have coin, this is a little bit better because obviously you wouldn't be able to fit too much coin in here. Otherwise, it would make it too, too bulky. Uh, and uh, some people have asked me if I tend to double up my credit cards on these if I needed to. I personally don't because, as I said before, I don't tend to carry too much with me. Uh, but I know there are a few people out there that do double them up and they said that they haven't had any issues because the caviar leather tends to uh, stretch out a little bit and have a little bit more give. Uh, but uh, yeah, so these are the card holders from Chanel and the red caviar leather with the silver hardware and the gold caviar leather or the black caviar leather with the gold hardware but there you go. And last but not least is an item that I am incredibly fond of that has 100% surpassed my expectations. And that is this beauty right here, which is the St. Laurent card holder in the black pebble leather with silver hardware. This little guy is amazing. It has a total of four credit card slots. You have two in the front, two in the back, and then you also have an extra little pocket here. So if you wanted to add more cash or maybe another credit card slot, you could. Uh, but this is definitely comparable to the Chanel card holder. And I will be doing a comparison some video between the two. Uh, now, even though this is the caviar leather and it is a little bit softer, this is this definitely feels a little bit more durable. The pebbled leather is just amazing. Check out the texture on it. It's just great. I have used it to death. I have pictured it to death and it looks exactly the way that it did the day that I unboxed it on my channel. Uh, but I'm crazy about it. It's a little bit shorter than the Chanel one, uh, but I'm just, I'm loving St. Laurent right now. And I really like the fact that, you know, the pebbled leather is as durable as it is. It kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Epi, you know, that same durability, but it also has that beautiful texture with the pebbles that I just cannot get enough of. So I highly recommend this one as well. Um, you know, it's just St. Laurent is again, as I said before, surpassing my expectations uh, when it comes to the quality. So I love, love, love this little guy. And again, it doesn't take up too much space. And you guys know how I feel about, you know, having too bulky of an item when, whenever you're trying to go compact. But anyways, that does it for my entire luxury wallet collection video. Thank you guys so much for the requests on it. I had a blast doing it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will try to see you guys tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then I will try my hardest to make another video on Thursday. And as always, thank you for watching. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.